we've been focusing a lot uh, is is knowing what you want. Yeah. Can you give an example of that? Yeah. Is that like I want uh, peace and tranquility on planet Earth? Yeah. That's all. I yeah. Really, that's yeah. all I want. Yeah. Like, that's perfect. I don't need uh, it's the latest gadget or. That's perfect. Or, you know, at Christmas, I want to run around in a black van and pick up homeless people, bring them my place, serve them a cur- turkey be careful dinner. What you w- be I careful know. what you ask well, for. Well, I, I was told You're I can't do You're going to be busy over no, Christmas. No, I told I can't do it. Um, so, you know, getting back to gratitude just for a second, yep. though, because gratitude for everything and asking yourself when those weird things happen, what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this? And I could tell you a series of anecdotes that have happened to me where I could easily have been a victim, where I said, what can I learn from this? And by the next day, I'm laughing about it because really, you know, life is just, it's here and it's fast. And what are you going to do? Get stuck in that crap? I'm not going to do it. So the next principle next to gratitude, and I say write down five things every day you're grateful for to get you in the habit because it's counterintuitive to how that thinking mind, that voice in your head operates. Mm. It wants more. It's always looking for more and I new. I can't come up with five things. Oh, I can't. I could do every it Every day? You. Like I five different things? You. They don't have to be different, but I could do it for you, Tech. Okay, but well, breathing's anyway. good. I'll, I'll, breathing. There's one. Can you hear? Uh, yeah. Can I you got, see? I have I have the hearing of a four year old. Can I you have, see? I'm pretty good. Yeah. Can you use your hands? Uh huh. Can you walk? Yep. So that's my five things. That's it. So I'm I should be happy. I actually am. Well, you happy. know what? You're 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 one of my favorite uh, audience Challenges. people because no no because you're skeptical. I don't believe you're cynical. I believe you're skeptical, and I think that's very healthy. Yes. I think each of us has to come to a conclusion about life for ourselves. What works for you may not work for me, and vice versa. And it's okay with me. And I wouldn't even call it. Ske- I, I mean, I'm more skeptical than cynical because I need to know. I, I need to probe and ask questions until I understand. That's what it, a skeptic or, is to me. You know, dismiss it as exactly as, uh, not for you. Yeah, as not for you yeah the end it's all good fluff or whatever what okay. it, well you see judging so, it doesn't matter to me that's right. i don't even go that far I just like not for me yeah, that's fine for me okay Have a nice day so gratitude so courage is the next principle because i believe that it takes great courage to stand in the truth of who we are and that is understanding you are more than that voice in your head you are actually if you were created by some power greater than you and you believe in a power greater than you then you must have that power in you and so it takes courage to recognize we are actually spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around might be challenging to get your brain around that but that to me is the truth also it takes courage to really ask yourself what do i really want and that's underneath the new car new job new boyfriend new girlfriend new house that's going to make me happy lose 10 pounds gain 10 pounds grow five feet whatever it is because you're not being present in your life when you're looking for that outside yourself is there anything you want right now abundance beauty joy love peace prosperity and wellness is what i want Okay, you memorize that. Well, I say it all the time. Okay, it's because like the I Palladium know what I Carl want. Center, Bank Place, can yes, the entire yes. But but when you know what you want, and here's how I get to it, with and I teach a course. Okay, on slow that down. I want to hear it again. Abundance. Uh, uh, okay. Beauty. Got it. Joy. Good. Love. Mm. <laughs> peace. <laughs> uh, peace. Peace. Sure. Oh, peace Pros- is peace is at the top of the list for prosperity. Me. Uh, for all. And wellness. And I want all of these things for me, and I want them all for you, and I want them all for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. So because I did the work, and here's how I got there. I wrote down what I didn't want because for a long time I knew off the top of my head what I didn't want because the things that caused me pain, I didn't want them. So if I knew what I didn't want, then how could I flip that to what I do want? And I'll give you an example. If I don't want to feel broke, because we're looking at how you feel here, right? Yeah. If I don't want to feel broke. I feel broke. Then how do, I want, how do you want to feel if you don't want to feel broke? i got to get a job. Now, how do you want to feel if you don't want to feel broke? You want to feel abundant. Yeah, I guess. Well, no, I'd rather just not feel broke. I don't need, then how do I don't you need the feel? positive. I just want to get rid of the negative. And how are you going to get rid of the negative? By focusing on something else, something that you really want. So what do you really want? You want to feel abundant. And you're squirming in your chair, but it's the truth. That's what you really want. And when you say, when you line up your thoughts, your words, and your actions with what you really want, your life is going to change. Because you're, you're focused on broke. The universe, that energy, that law of attraction doesn't hear do, don't. It hears broke. 
But so it will keep you the, in the conditions the of brokenness. There's only one check that comes in, and that's what it is. It's fixed income. It's well, like, if you have limited if I want thinking, more, that's how you If I want operate. more, I have opportunities that I can exercise to, to make myself a little less broke. So then if you don't want to be, then you don't really want to be but not I don't broke. Do that. Well, but I don't want to <laughs> work anymore right. either because I've paid my dues. I'm done. I'm toast. I mean, right. life has sucked my heart and soul out of my carcass here. Seriously. I got no comment on that. I know. <laughs> you need to focus more on the fact that you can breathe, see, hear, I'm walk. good. I do. I, and yeah. lately even more so. Because good. as you get older, at least me, uh, mortality comes into the picture a yeah. little more. As you said, yeah. I have friends that are, they eat better than me, they exercise better than me, and they're dead. And, yeah. and I know I don't eat well, and I, I exercise pretty good. I do different, I don't go to a gym, but I, I do stuff around my property. Um, so my mortality is at the top of my list mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So then you want to really appreciate your life. But I'm telling you what, with this way of thinking and looking at life, literally stuff this falls on me. No, this. Oh, this. Okay. What's in this book oh, okay. that you're going to read? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and you're really going to read it? Yeah. Um, stuff falls out of the sky. Okay. When you shift how you see. So courage is, you know, it's a big piece. I'm actually writing a book about courage right now because I feel it's a really big piece to look past this, you know, marketing mindset and to really get into the power that is yours, truly yours, that you can really change your own circumstances and really make a difference for somebody else. So then we talk about surrender and release because... Um, when you have the courage to know what you want, and in my case, I told you, abundance, beauty, joy, love, peace, prosperity, and wellness, then I have to surrender and release the stories that my thinking mind repeats from my past that don't serve what I want. So if I really want what I want, then I've got to line up my thoughts, my words, and my actions. So surrendering those stories and saying they don't serve me, and I'm going to replace them with stories that do. So that's a challenge, but it's also really work that's really worth doing. Then we ask for support from the unseen, whatever you call that power greater than you. I say, ask for a sign, ask for something to come to you. Like it might be a song on the radio or whatever. Are, are you are you a believer of symbols? Oh, Symbol yeah. Symbolism? Uh, and this is my symbol right here. The heart. Yeah. Love. <laughs> love, right? <laughs> i got a problem I see with them love. everywhere. Yeah, I know. You have a problem with love? Yeah. Do you want to have a chat about that? Or? We, we could. I mean, you know, again, we're, we're, we're led to believe at a young age what love is. And to me, what love is, it's about caring, compassion, thought, respect. It's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But we tend to use the word love. And then I see abuses of that. I see the hypocrisy of love. I see people saying, I love you, and then they go home and they beat their wife and they beat their kid. Um, I see the hypocrisy but of that. But do you have a problem with love in your life? I have a problem with using the word love. Really? Yeah, it's, it. you know, I was married at one point, and, and that breakup really hurt me mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. I, I've recovered from it, but it kind of tore apart my construct of love. Your confidence in that idea. In yeah, the idea, I because that, yeah. mm -hmm. everything that happened yeah. was, contrary was contrary to what, to what I was you led were told. to believe. Isn't and that true? Yes, and, and I, I was so focused on that path, yeah. and then it crumbled. Yeah. So... You know, I'm, I'm in a relationship now, and, you know, it's stable, and it's okay. It's yep. good. N nothing's perfect, by the way. I mean, there's all sorts of... Nothing's perfect. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> really? No. Yeah, that's a lie. Really? Come on. You're joking. You're the ranter. Nothing. I don't think you've ever found anything perfect. No, what nothing's perfect. About? Well, there's some things that are perfect. Like what? Me. Just kidding. <laughs> Do I have a witness over here? Yeah, he's, he's oh just, my. He's the studio. He's, are you there on purpose he's, because he's the studio you have to audience. watch what he's saying? Yeah, the legal of my, my lawyer just to make sure that everything's on the um, up. Yeah, no, but you're right. And and I, I believe you're right. I think, you know, where do we get the information about love anyway? You know, where do we get it? We watch it in our family. We read about it. We see it on television probably in the movies. These are all skewed views. And yet we incorporate all that information and make up a story around what it should look like. Look, I've been married for almost 25 years. It feels like five minutes. I've never met a more wonderful person. We are madly in love, and it gets better every single day. And that's clear in your book, and, and I, find that, I find that interesting. I find that an oddity. I, I know very few couples that still have uh, the, the passion, the fire, the... the like but it's, it's only based been five on, minutes. It's based on that, it's that based mutual on respect, trust, respect and trust. Yes, and the, yes. All the but things. you see, these, these are the, this is why I feel, you know, I have to do what I do now. Because I feel we just have so many skewed views of things like happiness. 
It's not what people think. No. It's not at all what people think. It's about getting jiggy with you and getting clear and down and practical and serious. Would you agree? Again, we're taught not to be selfish, and I tell people these days, it's that you have to be selfish. But people for don't self, understand what that means. For self-preservation. Yeah. You've got to turn off what Kim Kardashian's yeah. wearing. You've got to not look at Facebook for a day. You've just got to think deeper critical thought in your own head and and live your life but here's the deal tick and this is this is my gift to you for christmas screw what other people are doing with their time i agree you focus on being the best tick possible and by you doing your best tick you're going to inspire somebody else they're going to say wow ticks really doing this thing i really like and i'm going to try it you know I've, I've been a teacher for now almost four years doing this work I'm doing. I've been a, a, a you know, casual counselor for a lot of my life since I gained wisdom. And, uh, and I've realized, my husband taught me this a long time ago, people are going to do what they're going to do. So when you accept that, you lose a lot less of your energy trying to tell other people how to be. Let them do their thing. Mm-hmm. Maya Angelou, the great poet and American philosopher now deceased, said – 